Good evening, friends. I am coming to you from a rainy evening here at Port Orleans Riverside. It's been a very rainy weekend here in Orlando, so I thought it would be fun to try out a restaurant on property that I've never tried before and bring you guys with me to see what it's like. Tonight we're going to dine at Boat Rights here at Port Orleans Riverside. The menu at Boat Rights looks so delicious. I'm actually really excited to try it. We might do the all you can eat. We'll see. We'll, we'll scope out the menu and see what there is to see. And then after dinner, we're going to head over to Port Orleans French Quarter for those famous pumpkin spice beignets everybody's been talking about. This umbrella is now basically a sun parasol because it got super sunny and bright. Isn't that not the way that it goes? This is also where you would see Eha Bob, who I have seen perform many times over here at River Roost. He's so awesome. But today we're going to Boat Rights. There are several menus here, and this one's the best of the bayou. So this is some of their featured flavors, and this is a $58.99 several course dish. But, oh, they brought us bread, cornbread. Oh boy. Let's get some nice warm butter, one handed butter spreading technique down. Mmm, looks good. Here is the regular menu. Specialty cocktails, of course. Some of these are the normal ones that you would see at every type of Disney lounge. The Hurricane, and they've got some New Orleans beer, some non-alcoholic options. Also, you can order any drink from the bar, so it's a full service bar as well, because they're spendless. Good to know. So you can order anything from the River Roost Lounge as well, so it's a full service bar. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they have a ton of stuff. Yay, all right, let's pick what we're gonna eat. The Turbo Dog Purple Haze. And that's gonna be Easy IPA. Big Easy okay. IPA. Awesome. Nice, so this is a Bita Brewing um, sampler flight. And these are actually some pretty big size samples here. I know, this is what I was telling you. Yeah, these are like uh, sizable. We, we used to have a smaller, uh -huh. and they say Avira. But uh, because they were saying Avira, it disappeared. Uh. So, <laughs> so they start using this one. These are here. nice glasses. And those are. Yeah, nice yeah, they're portions. big. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey. Yeah. Dinner is served. Here we have the all you care to eat chef's platter. You're served one large dish with all of the meats and sides. And then if there's more that you want, you can ask for more to be brought out. If you want more of everything, get more of everything. If there's a certain thing you want more of, you can get more of that. The corn here has an aioli-like mayonnaise sauce on it with some of the andouille sausage in it. The sausage over here, I'm told, has a kick to it. The hot chicken is spicy. We've got ribs. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Green beans, mashed potatoes, and yummy looking mac and cheese. Bon appetit to us, right? Obviously, I'm going to put the camera down to eat, but I just wanted to show you that the ribs are like fall off the bone, soft, and everything smells incredible. So I'll let you know about this after. Normally, I wouldn't show a half-eaten plate, but I just want to give you an idea of how much I've eaten before I'm completely and utterly stuffed. The chicken was my favorite. The ribs were also my favorite. The chicken and the ribs, the chicken are actually sweet. It's in like a sweet honey type of glaze. It was so incredibly delicious, ate it all. Ate most of the mashed potatoes, good amount of the green beans, good amount of the mac and cheese, most of the sausage, all the ribs. I didn't eat the extra kind of meat, it's good, but it's just so much. I am now utterly stuffed. So this is the brisket, just to uh, say what that was. And the brisket's very good, it's just, Everything else kind of took up all the space my stomach has to offer. The centerpiece of boat rights is this giant boat frame. A boat right is a person who builds boats, and the entire theme here has to do with boat building. The walls are covered in boat building tools and tell the story of a warehouse where boats used to be built. At the front of the restaurant, there is a framed photo collage here called The Building of Boatwright's Boat. 
and there are photos of that big boat frame being built. Surrounded by the tools of a shipbuilder's trade, one begins to sense the history and pride of the ship and her craftsmen. It is this spirit of quality and attention to detail, Boatwright's restaurant offers a unique dining experience of authentic cuisine and unmatched service. Gotta love storytelling in dining and retail establishments. There are horse-drawn carriage rides that you can book here at Port Orleans. That's his little chewing post it looks like. I think it has something to do with their teeth. I just asked about the chewing of the posts and they let me know that they like the flavor of it and that it's like chewing gum for them. Just having a little chew over there, huh? Just a little bit of a chew. He just having a little chew. <laughs> so you can book these horse-drawn carriage rides around Port Orleans, and since there's no customers right now, he's just having a little bit of a chew. All right, we'll leave you to it, buddy. Just wrapped up dinner over at Boat Rides. I'm gonna go ahead and call that a hidden gem on Walt Disney World property. It was delicious perfectly cooked like tender perfectly seasoned juicy nothing was too salty or too bland everything was just right so we're gonna walk from Port Orleans Riverside over to Port Orleans French Quarter it's a beautiful walk along the river here and just kind of like walk off the dinner let it settle down and hopefully there's room for some beignets because I've been excited to try these comes one of the beautiful horses we saw earlier clomping down. Which was this one? Grady. Grady! Aww! Hi Grady! When we visited Fort Wilderness we learned that all of these horses are housed there and they all have different jobs around property. They're so beautiful. We're now over at French Quarter. It's got a different look to it appropriately enough, a more French Quarter themed look. Such a handsome boy. I love this grand looking entrance way to French Quarter and the cool Mardi Gras themed decor up here. It's very cool, definitely greets you in style. Love it. Oh, and air conditioning. I love a good New Orleans aesthetic. And not only do they have a cool Halloween themed window here, but it's draped in Mardi Gras beads as is appropriate. They're just draped all over the window decoration. My shoes match, I came prepared. Although they just get a little muddy because it's been really rainy all weekend long. It's been wet everywhere we've gone. When you enter the lobby, you'll find Sasagula Float Works and Food Factory. That is the quick service dining over here. But next to it is Scat Cat's Club Cafe. And this is where you're gonna find those Mickey-shaped beignets. And they're specialty beignets right now. It looks like raspberry, cinnamon, sugar, and chocolate. I heard there was a pumpkin spice one. I don't see it here. Let's see what we can find, you guys. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Oh, they look delicious. And I got a Cafe Olay because they do have that here. And I also haven't had one of those since New Orleans. And this is the display case with the Mickey-shaped beignets and regular beignets and specialty beignets. The pumpkin spice beignets are a limited time offering. These are gonna be gone soon, so if you want them, you're gonna wanna grab them while they're hot. I can smell the cinnamon wafting up. Mmm, cinnamon. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be messy. Wait, let me get some napkins. It's good, um, it's warm on the inside. It's very thick, very doughy. The taste of cinnamon is the strongest flavor. It's a nice treat to have as dessert after being extremely full from eating over at the right So I'm actually not sure if I got the right order. Yeah, I didn't. Because I ordered pumpkin spice beignets, which are a limited time offering, and all I really tasted was cinnamon. 
I only tried a tiny bit and all I could taste was dirt. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure either the pumpkin spice beignets are a very heavy cinnamon flavor, which is nice. Or maybe they gave me the cinnamon beignets. Yeah, I'm not maybe. sure. But either way, we're so stuffed from our dinner at Boat Rides that I can't eat another bite. I was so full I couldn't even try them. Yeah, you and couldn't is, even try that's them. That's unheard of. <laughs> that is unheard of. But the dinner at Boat Rides was delicious. It was really good. Oh my gosh. Especially for the amount of food you got. It was it was a lot. It was comparable to like an Ohana or something like yeah, that. But like a different genre yeah. of food but but less expensive it was cool how the way they presented it was everybody gets their own big giant plate with all of the offerings in it so like i ate all my sausages and then i could also eat all of your sausages yeah and he could have asked for more sausages if he wanted but i couldn't finish mine so it right. worked out yeah so it looks like there's a new bar over here yeah what's it, it called cool. Gat cats Club. That sounds right to me. The Aristocats. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Right meow. All right, Sam. Let's check this place out. Looks like a fully stocked bar. Oh, it looks so cool. Look at the stage. Okay, that tells me that there is live music here, and they just told me that this is brand new. It just opened two weeks ago. They start playing live music later this evening, and we have something else planned. But now that I know this is here, we'll come back and make sure to catch a live performance. I love the cool lighting and jazzy feel. Ooh, nice, like I kind of feel like I'm in New Orleans here. Kind of makes me maybe want to try a drink. We'll look at the menu. So this looks like the same drink menu that's over at Boat Rides, I think. And these are like nice high-end fancy cocktail type of drinks. So if you're looking for that like high-end fancy, they've got all the bourbons here. Mm, and then they've got like the more standard cocktails and then they've got the more standard like Disney cocktails Oh the chocolate martini. That's one of my faves. That's a dessert drink though. Don't have don't have space in this tummy for that right now Got wine. We've got beer and mocktails if you want a non-alcoholic drink Hurricane. They've got the hurricane the classic Sazerac Big Easy Sangria and of course some Abita band's starting to set up, we might get to catch a little bit of the beginning of their set if we're lucky. We're trying to stretch out our time and kind of take our time looking through the menu to decide if we want to grab a drink, but hopefully the timing works out that we can see a little bit of their set. We're just going to hang out for a little bit and have an Abita Amber while we wait to see if we can catch the beginning of the band. So to clarify, next door is Scat Cat's Cafe where they sell the beignets and coffee. And this area is Scat Cat's Club and it is a lounge with a full menu of specialty drinks and food items where there is live music at this point in time nightly. But you'll wanna check the website to make sure and double check that live music schedule. We're gonna play some music for you. Hope you enjoy. Quarter and at Riverside and an unexpectedly fun ending to the evening at Scat Cats. Scat Cats is definitely a place that I would plan as a destination on its own. I will definitely be back for a full night there. The appetizers, the food items, and all the specialty drinks looked amazing. The ambiance is beautiful. I really, really loved it. Didn't expect to go there tonight, so it was a cool little fun surprise checking that out. I will be back Cat cats. Dinner at Boat Rights was delicious, even more delicious than expected. Um, that is, I would say again, a hidden gem of a delicious dinner establishment here on Disney property. Worth coming out just to eat there. So thanks as always for joining me. I will see you for the next adventure. And as always, stay jazzy, stay enthused.